Hey Yens guys, Rocker Buck here with another texture pack review for you. Today we're going to be looking at T-Craft, which is by Tanya012, and that is a girl. She would like people to know that. And it's a resolution of 64x, so this is one of those mid-level texture packs. Um, yeah, I'm going to tell you, I have never tried this one before, so my reactions are guaranteed to be <laughs> we'll see we'll see because this is a realism pack I like realism packs and I'm gonna be honest as I usually am so let's hop on over to the crazy pig family friendly server and let's get this thing underway okay one of the claims that this texture pack makes is that some of the textures are were taken with photographs and then transferred to computer so uh, obviously certain things aren't going to render as real because there are no such thing as redstone lamps and whatnot but still like i said seeing this for the first time uh i like the blocks i like the them so far they look pretty good look pretty good we'll start across the bridge um look a little pixely for 64x but not that bad not entirely bad I like the iron bars. Those look pretty cool. They look more like hurricane fence or whatever, but that's that's cool. I like that. That's neat. So we'll step inside here, and wow, the redstone lamps. Those are definitely interesting. They're colorful. They're different. I like it. I'm not saying it's bad. And, of course, it looks like the mobs are uh, standard. Uh, before I started recording, I saw a creeper outside. He looked pretty... He looked standard too. Uh, the shulker boxes, they look real or standard. Let's take a quick look at the tools. Uh, there's the axe, sword, bow, with the draw animation, and the arrow, torch, an axe, which jumps for some reason, don't know why, and the spoon, or the shovel, as I like to call it. Okay, let's take a spoon. Been around here. There's our banners. Let's go up into the neither wart form. Yeah, pretty standard neither wart. And no, the soul sand is different. I expected standard standard neither wart. There's you know no real such real thing as a as neither wart. There's some stained glass. And we'll buzz across over here to the brewing area and have a look at that. Ah, I like the brewing stands. Nice basic clear crisp lines some bottles in one of them I like the wood grain on the chests that's really nice you see some animation there the signs look really good nice and clear okay so far so good uh, end rods yeah they look like end rods again you know you can't ask for perfection because some of this stuff doesn't really exist we have the furnaces and I thought I saw something over here. I was going to check. Okay, there's some lava. It looks pretty standard lava. Now we'll go up and check one of the forms. See what they have to show us. Oh, the wheat looks good. The carrots look good. But, uh, well, they kind of missed the, missed the taters. I do like the wheat, though. That's really good. That's not too bad at all. Let's buzz back down here. I like the the quartz. That's very, very nice. Very, very nice. Excuse me. There we have some neither rack and ladders and excuse me again mine carts. Interesting texture for neither rack considering it doesn't really actually exist. <laughs> All right, let's head on up the ladder. And here we are in the main floor of the base where I have my dragon head and egg with blocks of emerald. And these are diamond blocks, which looks like a close up of a diamond, and that's pretty cool. Go over here to the ghast head, and those are gold blocks. So, yeah, those look all right. And we'll spin around the inside. Okay, banners look pretty standard, like the leaf blocks, trapdoors. Yeah, trapdoors are okay. Uh, let's see, I think that's coal blocks, I believe I used for that. On that. 
We'll take a quick peek outside to the medieval village to see how these textures work together with each other. We'll zoom on over here and have a look at the cauldron and the fire animation and the hay bales. Those are pretty good. I like the melons. Melons look pretty good. Hello chickens. And let's pop into the bakery. Oh, look at the wood flooring. Wow. That's really, uh, really vibrant. We have a piston and some paintings, which we'll see some more. And we have the delicious cake. Half eaten one there left behind by somebody. I don't want to look at all the paintings. I have a surprise for later. So we will pop over here. Mm, I'm trying to remember. Oh, okay. There's some of the, the regular wood log textures. That looks pretty interesting. Definitely. We'll fly up here and have a look at the brick. I'm pretty picky about brick. And that's pretty good looking brick. So congratulations. Great job on the great job on the brick. Okay. And of course the whole base is made out of quartz. Most of you know that. The banners look like they render well. And we'll start over here into the corner cafe where we pretty much have almost everything. Oh, there's an iron door. That's what I, one of the things I wanted to show. An iron door that's in here. And we will go over to the books shelves where my enchanting area is and we can have a look at the enchanting table which yeah it looks like I've seen that one somewhere before but the book doesn't look like it goes with the table interesting yeah let's look at some of the stuff in our inventory yeah some stuff looks pretty default anvil looks pretty good a little bit of a shade of purple oh somebody it looks like somebody moved red Interesting. We have the villagers. Hello, guys. Keeping the dog company? That's why I got you here, of course. What are you guys doing over there? Yeah, I know. Leave me alone. Here we have the water and the lily pads with some more stained glass and the sea lanterns. I like the sea lanterns. Those are pretty cool looking. Here we have ores in their natural state. Of course, redstone, coal, iron, and diamond. Here we have my redstone area, which the detector rail, powered rail, regular rail. And somebody just killed the ender dragon here on Crazy Pig. Congratulations to whoever pulled that one off and managed to scare the living daylights out of me as it usually does. Anyway, on with the review. Here we have a repeater. And we have hopper, we don't have a hopper, that's over here. We have the droppers and the dispensers with the observer block. Here we have redstone dust, inactive and active. We have two of the pistons, we have sticky and regular, plus a full block of redstone. There's the hopper finally. And we have the comparator. There, let's turn it in, yeah, well, let's put it back down, why not, right? Okay, let's move along. I like the look of the, the uh, stone brick. That's very nice looking. I do like that a lot. Over here to the stage where we have, oh, the note blocks and the jukebox. And the jukebox actually has a record on it. That's cool. I like that. So now you can really, you know, stand back here and do your scratchies and stuff. That's I love it. I love it when... Um, jukeboxes look like record players like that alrighty moving on hello llama which I haven't still haven't named yet my goodness and it looks like I'm about ready to starve and we don't want to do that so let's see some eating animation looks pretty standard sounds pretty standard alright here we go we're gonna work our way up the tower and let's see what we can find. Let's get on to the melon. I'm still, I can't believe that. Here we are on the melon floor. Well, the barrel looks good now. I like the look of the melons. Of course, we saw some of those earlier. And I was going to say stay, uh, hardened clays again, and it's not anymore. It's terracotta, terracotta. Still trying to get used to that. 
well, we'll work our way up to that here pretty soon. Next floor is the farm floor. Oh, I like how my tractor looks in this one. That's actually wool and it looks really green, which is great. Love it. These are my, oh, look at the pumpkins. Now those guys are happy. Those are cute looking little pumpkins, happy little pumpkins. They look good as pumpkins and they look even better as jack-o'-lanterns. I like happy looking pumpkins in a texture pack. Okay, and the flowers look good too. Look very good, I wish I could hop in there. Get a closer look. Good looking flowers, congratulations. Okay, here we have the sugar cane farm and the simulated desert where we see glowstone in its natural state. And I'm not so sure I'm particularly fond of that. I'm not fond of default glowstone as it is. So it's hard to find good glowstone that will impress me. We have sugar canes. And we have cactuses, which still hurt. Here we have some of the sand blocks in our simulated temple. And I like the texture on the, the sandstone blocks, definitely. Looks really good. I even like the hieroglyphic stuff. That looks really cool. Good job. Very, very nice. Okay, so moving right up the line here. Here we have my first arboreum where we have the birch wood and the oak wood and I like the texture on the oak um, the oak bark I like the birch too I'm pretty picky about the bark birch Ooh. and let's see the leaves look pretty good more flowers which look excellent I like it I'm liking it I'm liking it might have to put this one in my regular rotation because I have a lot of trouble maintaining one texture pack for a long time okay here we are in the color room and oh my well the glazed terracotta looks pretty standard looks default and it looks like the concrete blocks are default too maybe hmm oh well that's okay works in progress works in progress but they still look good the chiseled quartz blocks almost look like, uh, oh my gosh, I was going to say toilet paper, but it's actually more like paper towels. We, we wouldn't want it to look like toilet paper anyway, right? <laughs> okay, next floor. Oh, uh, here we go. We have the acacias. I love the tall grass. I really like the tall grass. That's neat. The acacias and the jungle and I love the jungle wood actually that is nice that is a very oh I like the jungle leaves too I'm gonna fly up here and have a look at that oh you know what I should put on here and I forgot when I made this I should put cocoa beans on there that's what it needs it needs cocoa beans I'll work on that just like oh no 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 wrong direction we don't want to go down we want to go up okay so here we are at the top where I finally decided what to do with this room and I made it for paintings. So there we go. Oh, the paintings look great. I love great looking paintings. That's a great scene right there. Oh, like the wolves. Nice sunset, or is it a sunrise? A squirrel. Nice little tiger. Very nice lighthouse. I like the lighthouse. Oh, the otters are cute. Oh, look at the kitties in the mailbox. Nice horse and mountain lion otherwise known as a cougar or a puma depending on where you live bunnies now that looks that's a sunrise or a sunset we'll never know unless you know the author actually watches sends a message and tells me i love the little they look sort of medieval themed paintings or it could be some sort of village somewhere but they look very nice uh, shulker boxes, yeah, they look pretty standard. Yeah, I think we covered that. Okay, making our way up to the top of the tower. Where the concretes look, yeah, they're looking pretty standard still. Don't get that. So does the neither, red neither brick, but the neither... The uh, red neither brick, but the other neither brick, that looks pretty good. And of course... The pupil of my uh, giant eyeball is made of wool, and that's what the wool texture would look like, which is pretty nice. 
And here we have the neither portal. With the neither animation, which uh, don't think that's standard. Might be, but yeah, magma blocks the default. So let's go over to the neither and see what's happening over there. Alrighty, I can see the obsidian. Finally, it looks pretty cool. I like it. I like looking at the neither in its natural state. And if I can get flying here, I know somewhere down around here. Uh, well, yeah, like I said, the mobs are default, so we know that. Uh, I know somewhere way down lower is some, don't you shoot at me, is some uh, quartz in its natural state. There it is. We'll have a look at that. I like that. I like the uh, quartz that's easy to distinguish. And there's a whole batch of glowstone together. It's colorful. I'll give it that much. I mean, eh, I don't. I just I don't know. But it's colorful. I can say that much. We'll we'll we'll, we'll look for the good points. Well, I'm trying to be honest, but. Okay, so that pretty much covers it for the neither. The visit to the neither is usually pretty short just due to having the my base made out of a lot of the neither blocks. But oh, I guess I should look, start, never thought to really look up for the raw quartz because not a lot of people go up to the ceiling to go after it. Okay, oh wait, I forgot to go look at uh, this player's... Uh, build over here because he uses slime blocks, which I keep forgetting to make. I mean, oh, the slime blocks look pretty cool. I wonder if you can actually bounce on them. Oh, yeah, you can bounce on them. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Nice looking. The slime blocks look really good. Congratulations. Nice job. Okay. Let's uh, go from here to the end. And then we can wrap up the review, so see you in the end. Well, just as I came over here, the Ender Dragon went down for the second time. They must be having a dragon fest. Oh well, hey, that's what we, you know, have do for fun here on Crazy Pig. Okay, here we have the End City, which the purple blocks look pretty standard. Ugh, I can't stand the End Stone Brick. Yep, yep, everything's looking pretty standard here with the coarse plants, though the end stone looks changed. And it looks pretty good, actually. It looks pretty good. So I'm going to be willing to bet that I'm going to enter Pearl over here, and I'm willing to bet that our little buddy over here on the ship, the Shulker, i got to start calling him Shippy the Shulker. Uh oh I'm going to die. Oh, no, I'm not going to die. Ha! Huh. Great, let me get back up to the ship and we'll finish this off. That's the first time I missed with the Ender Pearl. I don't believe that. Okay, here we are on the ship, and here's our little buddy, the Shulker. And let me get the sword ready, because he's probably going to look pretty standard. Yes, he does. Yeah, and I thought, ah, oh, you missed me. Ha ah, ha ha. Okay, I imagine the uh, Elytra is probably going to look pretty standard, too. So here we have the inside of the end ship. I have that Elytra. And that's where we're going to wrap up this texture pack review. And I, yeah, I like the look of the armor. So there you have it, guys. This is me. Yeah, there we go. This has been T Craft Realistic. And this has been a pretty good pack. I like this. This isn't too bad. So if you like this texture pack, make sure you follow the link in my description over to to um, Tanya 012's Planet Minecraft page where you can download the texture pack and be sure to log in and give her a diamond. This is a really nice texture pack. I'm sure she'd really like it. So there you go, guys. Hope you like it. And see you at the next one. So just remember, keep moving, keep mining, and remember, I've got my eye on you.